Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make zepikanki or zepikanka. Mm. It's a <laughs> Polish baguette. Baguette, yes. <laughs> you know, we have, we have Indian street food yes. chart, right? So this is a type of Polish street food. And it's really like a baguette that's filled with mushrooms and cheese. And, and you could have ham or other kinds of meats in it mm. or other vegetables in it. And uh, it is just so delicious. So we thought we'd share the recipe with you. And it's so simple. I think that's yes. the best part. Not a lot of prep needed. And you can just have it inside. And it's very, very healthy. And here we have a skillet with some olive oil heating up. So here's some of the vegetables that we're going to be using. We have some green bell peppers, we have some chopped mushrooms, and we have some onions that are chopped. Uh, again, the veggies are really up to you what you mm -hmm. want to use, but this combination works really well. But if yes. you want to omit anything or add anything on, then you know, feel free right. to do that. I think the traditional one has meat, mm -hmm. so if you want to make it with meat, mm -hmm. please go ahead. Right. So the oil is hot, and we've basically got equal amounts of all the vegetables but it and uh, the amount really depends on you because it really depends on this you know the baguette you get so you know just go with that but make sure you get a little bit more because it will shrink after the cooking right so we're going to add all these veggies in and mix And we're going to season it with a little bit of garlic powder. All these seasonings are to taste. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can also add fresh garlic if you don't have the powder. Some crushed red chili. Mm. Or fresh chilies or jalapenos. And there's a little bit of Italian seasoning. And mix. The thing you don't want to add right now is salt. Um, we don't want the veggies to really get very wilty and re you know, release a lot of liquid right now. So we're going to add it in a little bit later. And we're going to cook till the onions are caramelized. And just keep stirring it every once in a while. So the kind of bread that we like to use is um, a French bread. And uh, traditionally it's served on a baguette, but we, we found that the French bread is a lot softer and you don't end up tearing up your mouth while you're, while you're trying to eat this. <laughs> so it, it, it is gonna be baked eventually and it gets kind of crusty. But when you buy French bread, uh, make sure you buy the thin loaf and not the white loaf, because again, it's just easier to eat when it's thinner. Right. Okay, I'm actually getting good at this mixing. <laughs> it looks really good. And to this, we're gonna add some pasta sauce. Just, you know, just enough to coat the vegetables, so be careful when you put it. And just keep mixing it. It's a good flavor and, you know, it's some moisture. Now, traditionally, again, uh, zepikankas have uh, ketchup on top. Mm -hmm. They serve it with ketchup. But, uh, you know, we don't prefer the, the flavor of ketchup on this particular dish, so we're just improvising and we thought we'll put some pasta sauce yeah, instead. Apparently, Polish ketchup is different. It's different, so yeah. We'd love to try that. <laughs> so. I'm making a trip to Poland just to try the ketchup. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so. Okay, this looks good. So to this, we're going to add um, some jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. And of course, this is to taste and optional. And some black olives. Oh, looks good. Mm -hmm. And mix. And what we're going to do is now we're going to turn it off, add a little bit of salt so that the veggies don't let water go, and mix again. So that part is done, and now what we're going to do with our bread is we have a serrated knife, and we're just going to make a, like a little boat out of this. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cut around at an angle, but you don't want to go all the way through. And we can just pull this out. Now this is perfect for snacking mm -hmm. <laughs> or so making cute. some breadcrumbs. <laughs> but we're not going to use this portion of it. We have a nice little boat. So to this we're going to add some cheese and quickly mix it up. So we're using a Mexican blend. It's got cheddar and Monterey Jack. Uh, but you can use any that you have. Just as long as it's shredded cheese that kind of mixes and melts. 
and quickly mix it don't give it too much time to melt and we're going to put it in this little boat oh looks so good mm -hmm. so you kind of want to over overstuff it basically right overfill it this is a whole meal in itself <laughs> And over the top, we have some Italian cheese, which is, uh, this one's uh, a combination of Parmesan and uh, mozzarella and a couple of others actually too. And we're just going to put a light coating over the top. So the oven is preheated at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to go in there till it gets, um, till the cheese melts because the vegetables are already cooked. Right. So just keep an eye on it. Everybody's ovens are different. So our zepikanki or zepikanka, whichever one, if you're a female, you'll call it a zepikanka. If you're a male, you're going to call it zepikanki. <laughs> okay, for all you Polish joke, people out there, <laughs> <laughs> disregard. <laughs> well, it's called different things in different parts. So whatever is you're comfortable calling it is fine with us <laughs> which which means we have to get into uh zepakanka means something baked yes. right so in this case here it is here's baked. our <laughs> here's our something that's beautifully baked and it just looks right. so delicious so it came out of the oven it was at 450 degrees fahrenheit it baked for seven minutes and it's got a wonderful just a little golden touch of uh, caramelization to the cheese and you just pull it out perfect mm -hmm. and if uh, if you really want to have the authentic style you can just put some ketchup on top but since we're eating it we're not going to do that <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to stick to this so it is amazing looking. so i have to thank um Piotr. So my husband went to Poland and actually uh, was introduced to this amazing dish uh, mm -hmm. by Piotr mm -hmm. and just wanted to thank him because now I'm introduced to it and so are all of you. So <laughs> thanks a lot and uh, we hope you enjoyed this epikanka and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>